thought we'd do a test today on the Leopold HD Xantium 5s. Probably my favourite binoculars. I've been doing a few tests. We were supposed to be going to Scotland to do some tests in Baltic, typical Scottish conditions. However, due to COVID, that's all been sort of thrown by the wayside. So I did my own. Submerged these in several litres of water for three days, then decided to go one step further and popped it in the freezer. So now all I've got to do is see if they've withheld several days in water and all the pressure of the ice. So I'm going to stand here and either defrost them on the fire or I think that's going to be, I might run out of battery by then. So let's try something else. Oops, still there. Smoke. See in a moment, I've gone full hog here. Yeah, get off. And I haven't cheated and put lens covers on. So let's see how good these lenses really are. They're too hard on them. I've just been a vandal. I could cheat a little bit. While I'm having a brute in the cup. Shit, that's hot. <laughs> Put the fire out. Gonna freeze here now in the depths of Barcher. Just burn my hands. Let's see if I can get this ice out of these lenses. <laughs> Guys at Leopold say these are fully waterproof, didn't say anything about axe proof, but let's have a look. All looking pretty good at the moment. Oh yeah. Now prior to this, I have lent them to a few people to do some field tests, which are probably above and beyond what I would do in the normal stalking scenario. I lent them to Buster, who's a para, who took them on exercise for a week. He came back in one piece, he was most impressed. He did actually declare that they, that they were para proof, which I thought was quite good. Then I lent them to a chap who's not quite such a good friend, but he's a Marine, and an officer at that. He took them away for two weeks, brought them back, and declared that they were semen proof. So, let's wait and see, I think we've got there now. Can't be a bit of pain for the company, can you, hey? Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I must admit. Oh, that's a bit iced up in there, I hope. That's working, functioning fine. There you have it. They say legends are born. I disagree. I think they're made. And to be more precise, in Oregon, America, 